This could have been Muhammad Ali's last fight before he gave it all up for what he believed in. I have a very strange uh, feeling. Um, as a matter of fact, I know this is my last fight. He was one of the world's greatest fighters, but it was a battle outside the ring that for many made him truly great. During his prime boxing years, Muhammad Ali was called to serve in the Vietnam War. He knew that his refusal could cost him not just his career, but even his freedom. But this didn't stop him. Black and white boys are dying unjustly for nothing just to free somebody else. So why should I worry about going to little old jail to free my poor people who's been catching hell here for 400 years? And it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to put are a black... Are you asking me kinda, for an answer to that? It's kind of hard to put a black man or uh, any black person in this country in jail because if you ask the average one, we're already in jail. You know, we've been here in jail 400 years. I, I just, uh... Ali had previously evaded the draft after failing qualifying tests, but at the height of the Vietnam War, when qualification standards were dropped, Ali, like a disproportionate number of black Americans, was called to serve, but he refused. Friday in Houston was the champion's moment of truth. He showed up at the induction center, but refused to step forward, bringing on the threat of prison and a shattered career. My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother are uh, some darker people, are uh, some poor, hungry people in the mud for big, powerful America, and shoot them for what? They never call me, no. they never lynch me, they never put no dogs on me, they never rob me of my nationality. How can I shoot them poor people? I'm just take me to jail. Mere months after his final fight. And Muhammad Ali has retained his heavyweight championship of the world. The World Boxing Association did to Ali what none of his opponents had been able to do up to that point. They stripped him of his title. Ali was also stripped of his boxing license. It took an all-white jury just 21 minutes to find him guilty. And with the majority of Americans supporting the war at the time, Ali found himself on the receiving end of increased hate. I find nothing amusing or interesting or tolerable about this man. He's a disgrace to his country his race and what he laughingly describes as his profession. The 1968 Olympian John Carlos said, if there was an Olympic sport for the number of death threats received, King and Ali would have been fighting for the gold. Despite all of this, Ali didn't feel that he'd lost anything. And those of the people who think that I lost so much by not taking the step, I would like to say that I did not lose a thing up until this very moment, I haven't lost one thing. I have gained a lot. Over the next few years, as opposition to the war grew across the US, Ali became an anti-war civil rights hero, speaking at universities across the country. It has been said that I have two alternatives. Either go to jail or go to the army. But I would like to say that there is another alternative. And that alternative, that alternative is justice. And Four years after Ali refused the draft, his conviction was finally overturned. And a few years later, at 32 years of age, he went on to regain the World Heavyweight Championship that had been stolen from him. Throughout his years of boxing exile, Ali never knew if he would return. But for him, his fight for equality and justice for black Americans was far more important than any he'd fought inside the boxing ring. I really care nothing about boxing. Boxing is just to introduce me to the struggle. Like, when I speak, I draw people. But if I couldn't fight, I would still not be fighting. So number one comes freedom first for my people, equality. And this is uh, what I plan to do after I'm through fighting.